Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are now on the 8th assignment Lutetia, a dangerous province, which is a military assignment. Now, as usual, this should be a three-parter on YouTube, and this time we're going to be doing fruit blocks. That's right, fruit blocks. We are not repeating any block designs, and we've gone crazier, so let's keep going crazy uh, with fruit block designs. Anyway, let's go ahead and get things started. As part of my plan to consolidate the Western provinces, I command that a new capital be built deep the heart of wildest Gaul. Caesar Augustus once predicted that the Gauls would become model Roman citizens. It is time that the great Augustus's vision was realized. In the midst of this savage land, you are to build Lutetia into a major Roman city unsurpassed in culture, prosperity, and peace. I grant you a huge, rich province in which to accomplish this. The peace requirement might cause you some difficulty. Far from verging on Roman citizenship, many Gallic tribes remain mired in the most primitive barbarism. They will not peacefully watch Rome civilize their ancestral lands. You have a large city to raise to high standards and a hostile land in which to do it. All right, so there we go. Lutetia, civilized Gaul, population 10,000, prosperity 50. Favor 40, culture 45, peace rating of 50. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead to the city. Ah, uh, there we go. And let's just very quickly get the music going. I don't want to wait for the music to start. I just want to get it going. Now, we do have some wolves, but a rule for this playthrough, we're not going to block them off. We're going to leave the wolves there. Uh, he did say a large, rich province. But I had a quick look at this map before, and that's that's the richest it gets. <laughs> uh, there's not so much here. There's more wolves there. There's wolves trapped in there. Uh, but it's a pretty big map. It's a pretty big map. Uh, so we've got lots of room to work for things. Now, we could get invasion points probably here. I don't remember where they are. Uh, probably there. Or up here. So generally, we don't want to build up too far this way. Um or too close to this, but besides that, we should be pretty safe. We should be pretty safe. So, fruit blocks, fruit blocks. Very interesting uh, challenge here. We could do pineapple, we could try to do apple, grapes maybe, uh, <laughs> bananas. We'll see what we can, we can come up with. I'll, I'll ask you guys in chat uh, what you think. Now, we are all the way here in Lutetia. It's a northern province, as you can tell by the dark grass just now, so no fires, no fires. And we could sell iron pottery, uh, weapons, furniture. Is that all? Iron pottery, weapons, furniture. Can we produce all of that? Yes. Iron pottery, weapons, furniture. So we could have uh, we could we could have a, a quite a thing going. Maybe have all the exports should be near the entrance because that's just gonna keep things. So we could have a bit of a pottery industry here, but, oh, we can't have the iron industry there. Okay. So perhaps we focus on weapons as an export first, and then furniture and pottery. Or maybe we could go straight for a furniture industry right at the entrance here. But we do have to get past the immigration bug first. Let me just make sure difficulty is on maximum here. Very hard, yes. So let's build our first block here. This is gonna be a weapon production facility. So let's unpause the game, make sure it's really slowed down. This is gonna be a weapon production facility. What fruits do you want to see? Let me know in chat what fruits you want me to draw. Basically, we need to get that going and we need to get this going. So yeah, this is gonna be a furniture pottery zone. And this is going to be a weapon zone because we need to get exports going first. But I want to put a housing block right here. Just so we it's the furthest away from the entrance and we can uh, quite easily do a well block here. Right? If I block this off and block that off, they'll at least have to walk around this, which will slow them down a bit more, which is good. You guys are saying banana, pumpkin, orange, mangoes, 
tomato. Tomato's a fruit. Tomato's a fruit. Strawberries. Strawberries are not berries. Bananas are, by the way. Uh, pear. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, well, we'll start with an easy one. We'll start with an easy one. We're gonna go banana block. Banana block. So it needs to be close enough to... Actually, no. It, it should be fine. If I just do a banana block right here. Now, I have done a bit of a banana block. So we can soften the edges a little bit, like that, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it can be four deep. One, two, three, four. Like this. How big do I make this? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna keep the banana symmetrical. Actually, that doesn't really look like a banana if it's symmetrical. It should be like... A little like that, with a little... Nub on the top, right? Like that? Banana. Banana. Did it. Did it. That looks like a foot. Well, that's a weird looking foot you have. <laughs> I'm calling that a banana block. Now also, before anything, uh, I want to set up the furniture industry over here. And also, I want to bring my population up to about 200 as much as possible before they start walking down that way. So, what block should we do here? Cherries would be interesting. Well, let's start with the easier ones. Let's start with the easier ones. Pineapple, I'm definitely going to do pineapple, Parsifal. Uh, pineapple's a good one. That looks like an asthma inhaler. Gun, <laughs> come on! I can only do so much. It's an isometric game. All right, uh, it's a banana, okay? You know what? I'm just gonna do an apple block right here. An apple block. Easy enough. Uh, let's draw an apple like this, I guess. Uh, right about here? Right, something. Like, it's got a little notch at the top. Then besides that, one, two, three, four, five. It's just gonna... How do I make it not look like a heart? Again, I have to, like, soften the edges a bit, I guess. That looks a bit off. Should be here, I think. This is not symmetrical. Let me fix this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That should be there. And... Is it at all possible to do a leaf? <laughs> uh, that doesn't look right. How do you do a leaf on such a small scale? Maybe it's just the stem, right? I think I have to make this apple slightly bigger. Guys, I'm trying my best here, okay? <laughs> Let's just make the apple bigger. It would solve a couple problems, okay? Okay, okay. There's no way to have... There's no way to have a stem coming out of the center of the apple. <laughs> I will figure that out later. We gotta get this started, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some houses around the outside here. Um, so we can have a bit of a furniture industry going around here. Uh, maybe what we can do to simulate the stem. I can have the stem just sort of come out like that, right? And then the, there can be a furniture industry there. And then I'll have houses like that. Right? I'm gonna do this, gonna do this. One, two, three, four. How many can... Uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen... 
20. So this is a maximum of 200 people. So let's just get that going for now. Okay, don't worry, those wells aren't going to be staying there. That's going to be 200 people, and that's pretty much going to be the stem, okay? Okay? It's a stem and an apple, okay? <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay. So we do actually need prefectures on this map because wolves. That could be a problem. Right. Well, let's get these guys moved in first. Um, engineers post. I'm just going to put a prefecture down because whatever. Uh, why not try drawing with the perspective against ag instead of against it? Uh, this is isometric and when you want to draw realistic looking objects, everything is against the perspective. If I did the apple with that, it's just going to be a box. It's gonna be a box. Uh, I, I could do something along the lines there, but we'll, we'll, we'll get this started first, yeah? Let, let's get people moved in. The wolves are just gonna sit right there. Okay. Please just walk through. Okay, so we're gonna get all of this going. Let's make sure these houses do evolve. Just put a bit of a plaza here and there, here and there, okay. So this is going to bring our population up to 200. Let's just make sure they all move in. Okay. So this can fit, yeah, 20 each. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we can actually fit more than this. Sorry, I miscounted. I thought it was 40 each. No, it's 20 each. Um, so let's just put down more houses. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. We're gonna do that. and let them move in. In case anyone's wondering, this is to get past the immigration glitch, which is when you're between 200 and 300 people. Was oh, this too many? Is this too many? I think I built too many. Wait, it's... Wait, it's 28 per... Oh, it's 28, not 20. <laughs> okay, I built too many. Wait, math. 200 divided by 28 is how many? I can't do math on it. What? Someone tell me, what is 200 divided by 28? Someone tell me. Look, I can't alt-tab out of the game. You guys gotta open the calculator. Seven, seven, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just one less. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That, that's good. That's good. 7.14, perfect. Okay, so now that those houses are all evolved, they will prioritize moving into there first, while I then populate the banana block. So this block here has to house 100 people, which should be no problem by doing something like this and like this. Bam. Right? And they'll have to walk the long way around. Those guys are going to move into our house down there as well, which is going to be a bit of a problem, but I think it should be okay. We just got to make sure... Can they still... Oh, of course they can still walk through this. There. That should block them. Sync them up a bit more with the immigrants over on that side. We're at 176 now. A few more people should move in here, just about bringing it up to just under 200. Oh, thank you for doing the math for me, by the way. So this should be a test to make sure... Oh, they despawn. Perfect. Perfect. These guys will not despawn. Ah, learned a new trick today. How to get rid of the homeless. 
Don't take that quote out of context. <laughs> ah, 7-7 seven, seven, Creative 7-7. Seven, seven. Welcome to the stream, you've made it. Zero far says now for the gun block. Oh, it's not zero far, it's zero R far? Or far? Or far. The gun block. Oh, there's wolves here, damn. Before I forget, we're gonna need a doctor's, aren't we? Let's not have people getting sick. Can I get a doctor's right there? That should spawn correctly, right? Ah, oh, who's dying now? Oh, come on! This is gonna ruin my... 200 to 300. Look, we have to work around the immigration glitch appropriately. With... Uh, they're trying to kill that guy, jeez. You know what? Let's just get the gods going, yeah? <laughs> um, okay, series. Neptune. I know I don't need Neptune on this map, but I don't want to keep getting uh, curses. Mercury. Mars. And Venus. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh. they're going completely bananas. Is it even possible to solve this problem? I've got three prefects working now. i got three prefects going. Let's see if the prefects can do any work here. Come on, prefects, kill the wolves. This one prefect is going to do it. <laughs> Here's all these immigrants, which is good. And just as they start moving in there, I'm gonna set a row of houses there. Okay, the wolves are preoccupied with the prefects, allowing some... Why does the path of moving in have to be right through here? People disgruntled? There we go, we've crossed 200 people. All the immigrants... I, I don't think this is gonna be enough. Oh, the wolves ruined my plan! Look at that! See, that people disgruntled means immigrants stop moving in. This is the immigration glitch, see? The immigration glitch is between 200 and 300 people. Slow the game down and surround the wolves with aqueducts, Demi Kellis. I promised I would not do that in this playthrough. I promised I would not do that in this playthrough because this is, this is the hardcore people tell me this is, this is what you need to do. <laughs> You can't wall the wolves in, you can't, you can't lower the difficulty to walk around. See, people just move out, people just move out. We're just gonna have to wait until the prefects, um, until the prefects kill all the wolves. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna set up a timber yard. Uh, let's go two timber yards, let's go warehouse. Let's, uh... Yeah, that can go just right there. That's fine. Actually, no. Let's let's be a bit more reasonable about this. Let's put the warehouse right there. This is going to be just for furniture. We can at least get our exports going while they kill the wolves manually with prefix, right? Uh, let's go workshop, furniture. One, two, three, four. Right? And let's just make sure we prioritize engineering and prioritize governance and religion and prioritize that. 
prioritize that. And if anything, industry and commerce take the hit. Okay. Ah, uh, until these wolves are dealt with, which are, they're slowly being dealt with. They're slowly being dealt with. We've killed quite a few. We've killed quite a few. Employees needed? Yeah. How many are we short by? Not by many, actually. Well, more people are going to move out, so that sucks, but... <laughs> Why not just build a fort and use that to kill them? Because a fort is going to cost a lot of money. See, it's going to cost a thousand, and uh, plus the barracks, you know, I'm not sure if I can handle that. Yeah, kill the, kill the emigrants, kill the emigrants, that's fine. Come on, prefects. There's just a couple more wandering around here. Come on, stab him. I'll fight to the death. The city's safe while I'm still alive. Whereas this guy's not paid enough. Come on. We're just about dropping below 200 people here. Does that mean people are moving back in? I don't know. We gotta drop our population a little bit here. There we go. Let's uh, lower taxes down to zero. Let's increase wages by 10. We're short by 30 people. Okay, let's just cut back on that, I guess. Prefects are not good. <laughs> Come on, kill the wolf. Kill the wolf. There's one house left here. One person lives in the banana block. Train a legion to deal with them and spend a thousand on military before I have any exports going. That seems like a risky prospect. You know, I need to get population up so I can get exports going because I'm going to have to spend money to open uh, this trade route as well. That's going to cost 500. Uh, so that leaves me, if I build a barracks as well, 150. Uh, let's see, if I do this, if I put a barracks down here, plus a legion, Oh well, I, I think the problem is pretty much solved. Can we not kill these wolves? Uh, I mean, I might have to just start that immediately, I guess. I put barracks, like, right here. Alright, let's, let's try it. Let's put javelin forts down. They'll probably be attacking from the northern area, but we do need to be able to walk through past this. So I don't want to have them too far. Maybe just over here. Fort Javelins. Alright. There we go. We've got a Javelin Fort. <laughs> we'll see. Now we have to wait for the Javelins to come in before we can solve this. Is it just one wolf? There's one wolf there. There's one wolf here. Alright, this wolf should die. That is going to come down this way. Hopefully fight along here. Right? Right? Maybe plonk down more houses. I have enough houses. There we go. I think we dealt with it. I think we dealt with it. Come on, kill that wolf, and I think we're going to be good to go. Kill this one wolf. That's the last one. Yes. Yes. So we can now cut back on prefectures. They're going to start moving in very soon. So let's plonk down houses right here. To attract a few more people coming in from here. Put down a couple houses there. So they're gonna start moving in right now. And hopefully this is enough to cross the 300 mark. Right, squeezing a few more immigrants as we approach 200 people. Across 200, people are going to be disgruntled. <laughs> uh, uh, I think we did it. I think we did it. Caesar will bail you out if you run out of denarii. Yeah, I'm just being very conservative with things here. Yeah. 
I'm being very conservative. I just realized I do not have an engineer's post for this block. <laughs> uh, what are people unhappy about? Unemployment, okay. Workshop furniture. Raw material timber yard. Okay. okay. Problem solved there. We're at 275. Did we not cross to 300? Ah, oh, that's gonna suck. I think I'm gonna need a few more houses here. Do I really need to well this off? I might have to. What's the shortest route? Here, right? Well, we've got some javelins coming. <laughs> I think I have to wall well this off. And we just have to speed through. Really? There's no way around this? Oh, so there isn't. Uh, okay, I have to cut through this. Okay. And now we gotta wait for our population to go back down, which uh, we don't have to. We're just gonna delete houses. Ah, uh, the immigration glitch. There we go. Alright, please start moving back in. Until you're almost moving in on this side. Oh, of course the wolves come back here. Guys. Guys, I think we're screwed. I think this is just not a good... This is just not a good go. This is not a good go. Hmm. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I get past the immigration glitch when there are two wolf packs going around the map. Any ideas? Use your javelins? Yeah, I probably have to go straight into that, right? I have to go straight into training javelins. Alright. Let, let's try it. Let's try it. Alright. Let's do this real quick. We're gonna need that apple block immediately. Ah, oh, the maps are getting harder, aren't they? Okay, let's let's shift it over a little bit like this. Like that. Down to about there. Up to about here. This is gonna be... Like that. That's going to be going up that way. And we're going to need seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give each a well. Okay. Uh, make sure they all evolve with a bit of a plaza. Okay, uh, and go straight into military with a barracks and a fort javelins. I wanted it right there. Uh, military fort javelins. Bam, right there. Okay, let's go doctor. Let's go Engineer's Post. And there. And also we can, uh, well, we probably won't have enough to, to get too many 
everything is going. Let's get the temples down. Uh, Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Like that. Okay. Uh, let's go raw material, timber yard, just one for now. Let's go warehouse over there. Let's go accepting just furniture so we can actually get something started there. Workshop, furniture. Okay, that should be enough to get things going, right? Let's prioritize uh, engineering, prefectures, governance and religion. Water services should be one above all else. Good. Uh, military, above industry and commerce. Oh wait, health and education should be above that. Correct? Correct. Okay. Oh, those wolves. I really don't want those wolves running in here, but okay. <laughs> Let's get the population going. This should bring us up to just under 200. We're getting javelins already. Okay. How many people are we short by? Oh, we're actually not... We have unemployment. Okay, if that's the case, let's go ahead and make a bit more space here. Let's go raw material timber yard. Let's go couple more workshops like that short by 14 that's fine industry and commerce take the hit once we get a uh, okay number of javelins we can send them to go kill the wolves all these wolves just sat there okay we should be able to go kill these wolves now okay come on come on that formation there. Okay, I think this is gonna work out better. I think this is gonna work out better, right? <laughs> All right, time to die. No, 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 don't go killing my people. You wanna kill anyone? Kill the javelins. Oh, okay, uh, Neptune blessing. That reminds me, I should just immediately throw a festival to Mars. Forgot about that. And drop taxes down to zero. Okay, that's that done. Where's the other wolf pack? Where is it? There. So as soon as we broke that open, uh, it just didn't work, right? We have to have them walk around like this. gonna block that off and just to make sure this does actually work I'm gonna go ahead and block this off but leave one gap we got to kill these wolves first uh, meanwhile we can go ahead and draw the banana block I think it's gonna work this time I think it's gonna work okay how'd the banana go again uh, it was sort of like there was a bit of a nub at the top and then it sort of expanded out a bit. And then, no, no, a bit more than that, I think. Was it like that? Sort of like that, right? Down to about there. This is a slightly bigger banana than last time. Over to here. banana <laughs> okay where'd the wolves go oh they ran away okay i think they're trapped in there they're gonna go there is that all the wolves any more wolves on the map i think that's all right except for on the farmland which are already trapped okay so now we can bust this open we go so we can well this off and get people moving in here 
Mars sends a spirit. Perfect. Oh, this is so much better. Bam. I'm gonna have a row of houses here too. Bam. This should be good. And we're gonna need engineer's post right there. Okay. Can we not kill all the wolves? Wolves are good units. <laughs> Wolves are good. Uh, huh. Okay, we gotta train up a bit of a military then. <laughs> okay, okay, well, they're going back to fort. Uh, so, we're gonna train up a bit more of a military here. Okay, I'm... Now, I'm not... Oh, the festival hadn't happened. Uh, Mercury has uncovered hidden projects in the city granary. I don't have a granary. Okay, okay, well here comes the immigrants. Let's let's hope Let's hope they these five wolves don't start running out, out at us. That's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Ah, oh, my javelins, my javelins. Okay, but things are looking much better than before. Look at that furniture is in so I can just go ahead and open this trade route yes let's visit advisor let's just export everything we've got it is a land trade route correct yes, we don't have any water trade routes so we can start selling furniture which is going to be good these guys are all going to walk down this way let's hope the wolves just stay put there's six wolves not five there's six of them okay while I wait for my javelin force to replenish here yeah? how's our employment Shot by 18, okay, probably just in there. There we go, we're gonna start selling furniture. We might actually be able to avoid debt here. Now, as soon as these immigrants get close to these houses, I'm gonna put some houses over by the apple block again. What do you think? What do you think? It's going much better this time, right? I'm just so worried about these wolves. I, uh, I underestimated their power. <laughs> but there we go, we're making some money, fantastic. So these guys, how close are they? They've still got a ways to go. Let's just speed things up a bit. And just as they start moving in, I drop some houses. To help boost up the population even more. Wait, there's more than six. Ah, they're reproducing. We need. I think we need at least one javelin per wolf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, five. Yeah. Uh, doctor. Right. Okay. Okay. If those wolves stay put, we're gonna be okay. So as. That moves in. We're going to get a few more immigrants coming in on this side there. And that's all the immigrants we're going to get as we've just crossed 200. Let's raise our wages 10 above to make sure it recovers as quickly as possible. All right, we've got a good number of immigrants coming in there. And now we can actually bust this open. We don't need that anymore. There they go. There they go. Moving on out. But I think, I think we have enough. Right? Come on. Yes, yes, this can cross 300. This can cross 300. Ah, oh, they're moving out already. And there we go. Ah, not yet, not yet. Some people moved out. Get into those houses, come on. 300, okay. Now we gotta stay above 300 until happiness returns. Uh, how much furniture can I sell here? Only 15 units? Okay, so I don't want to overdo it. So we got to set up the, the weapons industry next. Which is going to go along this cliffside here. Alright. People are indifferent to you. Fantastic. Let's drop to 30. We'll just raise this up before I forget to like 5. Uh, and you guys, are you guys, you're shaken? Can you, do you think you guys are good enough to, to kill wolves yet? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna try kill the wolves. We're gonna try kill the wolves. Ah, uh, we did it, guys. We got through the immigration glitch. 
So now, uh, there's gonna be a bunch of unemployment, yes. So let's... We're gonna have uh, an adjacent fruit here. Do we just go at like uh, another banana? So going sort of like a banana bunch, maybe? Uh, would it be at all possible to do that? Maybe if I... Do something like this? Guys, don't don't judge my banana design, okay? I'm trying my best. It's got to be a bit bigger than that. Okay, okay. There's an adjacent banana, okay? Adjacent banana. Engineer's post can go right there. While we go raw materials, iron mine. We can sell weapons and iron, correct? Yes, we can sell weapons and iron. 25 weapons a year. So I can go one, two, three. Uh, workshop weapons. One, two, three, four. So I can actually put the engineer's post there. We don't need it there. And we have a where, uh, two warehouses, I think. Which can go right there. Warehouse, warehouse. This one is gonna just accept any surplus iron. This one is gonna accept any weapons? Okay. What do you think? <laughs> and we can also provide some water, like some proper water, to the banana block with a reservoir right here. Let's bust that open. We'll have a reservoir right there. And fountains. Yes, yes. Good, good. <laughs> Bananas don't... Just don't have that much curvature. I, I can only do so much. These guys, where are they? Oh, they're, they're still not there yet. Okay. Fountain. Come on. There we go. Um, so we can go fountain like there. there then we have to go like here and here how much does that cover almost everything except for that house there so you don't get to be a house now let us try and wipe out these guys come on Oh, are they stuck? I think they're stuck. Oh, no, no, they're fighting. They're fighting. Come on. Trained military javelineers versus a pack of wolves. We're actually fine. We're, we're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, so we are selling a decent amount of wood. Pretty much all the wood that we need. More people are going to start moving in now that we've evolved those houses. And our weapons industry is going to start going as well. Uh, yep, everything is now functioning almost, almost. They just have to walk around the banana a bit. They just have to walk around the banana. Gotta water your bananas, Blaster? Yeah. Algus Halo says, make a potato full of clay pits. Well, a potato is a vegetable, as it's part of the plant. Uh, and not a fruit. Do you have another fruit suggestion for the clay pits and pottery industry? What should the pottery industry be inside? Orfar says, ah, I get it now, it's a weapons industry, so it is a gun indeed. Come on, it looks like a banana. It doesn't have a trigger or anything. It's a banana. That's a that's a it's a pile of bananas, okay? We could have a third banana here. 
Okay, doing a bunch would be a bit difficult at this scale. Make a bunch of cherries with reservoirs. Yes, yeah, cherries, grapes. That could work out, that could work out. The pride of the Roman Empire versus wolves, indeed. All right, so we can also set uh, this to, oh wait, no, weapons. Weapons to export any surplus. And uh, could I fit like another iron mine like right here? Let's see, raw material, iron mine. Yeah, so four iron mines with four weapons workshops should produce uh, weapons and iron for export. That's going to be coming in very soon. Money is going back up. These unfortunately are not going to be academy trained, but that's fine. I'm going to move the barracks. Let's not move the barracks yet because I, I want to sell the weapons. You know what, let's just move the barracks now. It's fine. It's fine. Let's move the barracks over. Barracks can sit right here. So we'll be producing weapons and supplying that there. Okay, fantastic. No employment problems. I guess I'll go one more weapon workshop. Just like that. Right, that looks good. 500 people, fantastic. Ah, oh, this is going so much better than last time. Now, can I actually clear off those wolves? That would be good. And then we're gonna need, uh, yeah, we're gonna need a block here so we can produce pottery to export. Employees needed, yeah. All right. Pineapple would be a nice challenge. I'll be doing pineapple for uh, a better block than uh, for something a bit not so. Can I shoot through the trees? Oh. I'm just gonna try and bust through here. Come on, we can kill these wolves. And that will actually allow me to put down a military academy. We will go into debt for this. Don't worry, don't worry. That's the first debt. So we get a bit of money. So now that we've lost... Jeez, come on! How strong are wolves? Why did you guys run away? There's so many of you left. Totally distraught? Come on. Where are they running off to now? Okay, well, we, we've got to hunt down those two wolves soon. Ah. <laughs> uh, I thought potato is a is a bulb that the plant grows from? Yeah, that makes it not a fruit. Uh, a vegetable is part of the plant. Wait, those wolves aren't killing anyone. Who's killing? Oh. There's wolves spawning out of here. Okay, okay. We gotta be careful about that. Um, if it's part of the plant, it's a vegetable. If it's something the plant produces, it's a fruit. Basically. Basically. Right? Okay, so we've got one more wolf problem on our hands here. Oh, weapons don't store unless you've got legions going. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so we're gonna have weapons coming in. Uh, is there poor access to workers for this? There really shouldn't be. Right, that block is not big. It should be fine. Perhaps I just need to shorten the banana a bit. If I do this, this should stabilize. And actually, it's a bit more efficient in terms of placement. Okay, we shorten the banana. If I do that, it looks a bit more... No, that doesn't help. Got to try to figure out how to make that look more like a banana, but okay. Uh, wolves are still randomly spawning here. Extremely scared. Come on. Okay, okay. This city layout looks weird. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's what happens when you try and draw in an isometric design for uh, fruits. So I'm going to need this coastline here for 
the the clay pits. Now, what fruit should I draw here? Make a lemon block? Lemon should be easy enough, right? So if I were to... Yeah, if it was to do something like... The lemon just has like a little nub. It should be like that. Should I soften it like that? <laughs> uh, it's got to be a bit fat around the middle. Up until there. Bit fat around the middle. Hold on, I know it looks weird. I know it looks weird. Don't worry. <laughs> We're just gonna tweak this a little bit. Okay, a lemon is, is not as straightforward as it might seem, okay? And then it eventually ends with... Along here? That's slightly off, don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna just shift that over. Okay. Is it a bit long? It's a bit long, isn't it? It's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just an oval, isn't it? How, how do I make it more lemon-like? I'm not too sure. So this is just not symmetrical. If I do that... How do I make just make it look not so much like an oval? I do... that. No, it actually should be like that, right? Right? Wouldn't it be easier to make a melon wedge? Sort of. Okay, come on. We must have enough. Legion's morale too low to respond. Really? Oh, they're still extremely scared. Okay, that's fine. Uh, a melon wedge? A melon wedge would look like... I mean, it still needs like... Yeah, actually, we could do a melon wedge. We could, we could use a melon wedge for... Uh, the the farm industry sort of thing. Or at least we, we, we can use a melon wedge for a housing area. How, how do I want to do that? Let's say I want to do a melon wedge like right here. It'll just be a straight line and then it's got to like curve over. Let me just do like dots like that. It'll be easier to figure out. I should actually draw like this, right? So like, that'll be like a melon wedge, and I just clean it up. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. They're fruits. If I were to keep it straight like that... Melon wedge? Or a lemon. One or the other. <laughs> and we can populate this block too, why not? Let's do that. Engineer's post. Doctors. There we go. Melon wedge. Uh, now, we can actually go ahead and... get some houses on this side. This is still not symmetrical. Why, why can I not... Why is it so hard to get this symmetrical? You know what? It doesn't have to be symmetrical. Gonna have two houses there, gonna have an engineer's post there, gonna have a uh, doctor's right there. Uh, and then we can go raw material, clay pit. This actually is quite forgiving with positioning. Four clay pits, yes. Workshop, pottery. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we have the pottery lemon. We have the pottery lemon. Right? We have a wedge of ambiguous fruit housing block. A wedge of ambiguous fruit housing block. The banana military industry. The banana military industry. And the... Look, it's an apple. Okay, it's an apple. It's an apple timber industry. It's an apple timber and furniture industry. Use your imagination. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. You guys, you guys do better and send me screenshots, okay? You guys do better and send me screenshots. I would deal with the wolves, but these guys are too scared to move. They're badly shaken. Can you move me? Look, a full legion of badly shaken javelins should still be able to deal with a few wolves. They should be able to still do this. Come on. Kill that one wolf there. And then we'll try deal with the pack here. Okay, kill that one wolf there, please. Employees needed, don't worry. We've got the we've got the melon wedge going on here. Uh, how do I want to do this? We're gonna need a reservoir right there. Oh, actually, look at this trick: click and drag. Yeah, bam! Click and drag. Fountain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that covers all of that. Okay, we killed one wolf. Can we kill the others? Let's try not have the whole pack attack us at the same time, yeah? Can we just shoot some of them? Okay, okay, okay. They die so easy. They die so easy. How come how come it was, how come this was so hard last time? One more? Okay, done. Why was that so difficult? Avir87 says, for your luxury area, you can do a star fruit. Ooh, yes, yeah, star fruit could be cool. I'm thinking pineapple also. Pineapple also might be very nice. Uh, we should get some, like, wells going here. Um, we're gonna need a warehouse. For pottery. Okay, so we're getting all of our exports going, by the way. And also, with the money we've got, we can start building up our military. So let's just clear off some of these trees. And we can go ahead and start getting legionaries. Bam. We do have a blessing from Mars. Oh, we are selling all of our... I could open this trade route now as well. 500 to open the trade route and just sell all my pottery and sell any surplus iron as well. That's good. Why is there still... Why do iron mines need so much access to workers? That's kind of strange, right? Are we, are we short on access? Oh no, we're just short on workers. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay. This apple block, I can actually populate a bit more. Let's get that going. People are eating more food than they're producing. That would be an interesting statement, as we are producing zero food, unless they're eating the furniture. Also, also a possibility. So are we getting weapons in? Should start getting weapons in soon. Why'd you just buy one bit of... Wait. Oh, was he here to buy weapons? Okay. That's fine, that's fine. So all of our employment should be going along soon. We're shot by 38, not a problem. More people are moving in. Uh, how are the gods feeling? Pleased? Happy? Okay. Until we hit a thousand people, that can be not so much of a problem. Uh, we can... How do I want to do this? I could have a few houses on the back here. Okay, I think this wedge is symmetrical. I think the wedge is symmetrical, right? It should be. 
Wedge of ambiguous fruit. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. Employment problem solved. So all of this should be functioning. There we go. Look at all that pottery coming in now. Uh, so we can now start selling that. Just perfect as we are running out of uh, supply here. How's our health looking? City health is almost perfect with doctor's clinics virtually empty. Okay. And uh, we are going to have to cut down all these trees to make room for our actual proper food production. And what block do we use for farms? The palace pear? Ooh, and the symbol. The palace pear. Uh, there's a thousand people. Let's go ahead and get another set of small temples, I think. We're gonna need... Like... Series... Neptune? Uh, Mercury... Venus? Right there. Uh, and a temple to Mars. Good. Good. All that seems to be working well enough. I think we are actually producing legions now. Yes, so the pottery sales should uh, compensate for our lost weapon sales. So now we have all of our exports going, I think. Pottery, iron, weapons, furniture. Fantastic. Uh... <laughs> It's actually working. Can't you just ignore Neptune? Yes, but I don't want to keep seeing, oh, we've gotten a curse from Neptune. You know, it's a bit of a hassle. And it's just like a couple workers, right? Like right now, Neptune is taking up a total of four employees. So it's not, it's not really a problem. Poor access to employees. I don't know, why, why is there just a problem with access to employees over here? Uh, it should be fine. Alright, so now we've got so much money. I guess we just... Uh, have two forts of javelins, I think? Two forts of javelins. Needs a working barracks. Is the barracks not working? No employees live nearby. Okay. Why? Do I just need to, like, have this road do that? This is gonna make the banana look weird, but... It might solve the employment problem. Okay, this is a mutated banana, okay? I'm just gonna do that for now to see if that actually solves the problem. Now, uh, we probably don't need a doctor here, right? Doc uh, health and disease is sort of like an overall thing. Okay, okay. So what... What do we draw here? The wheat watermelon. How do I depict a watermelon that's not just an oval uh, or a circle? Oh, an oval or a wedge. <laughs> that's a bit difficult, right? Ah, oh, the beginning is in chat. Welcome, the beginning. You can check out the beginning's YouTube channel. It's called The Beginning. It does populace and age of mythology. Uh, but let's see. Put a four tile house in the mines area, not like you're lacking space. Yeah, I probably should, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> Um, okay, there we go. We have so much money. We have so much money. How, what do I, what do I draw here for the farms? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna save... You know, the palace pair sounded nice, but I think I might just do a farm pair. Right, if I just do something like this. A pair is just like a rectangle which is a bit fat on the bottom, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It needs to be like that. How do you draw a pear? It's kind of...
Like you can soften the corners a little bit. That doesn't look like a pear, does it? Actually, that kind of looks like a pear, now that you add the stem onto it. But... One, two... Pear? Why not grapes for the farms? It's a bottle, a grenade, it's a pear. <laughs> it needs to be longer. Look, I, I don't actually eat pears. I don't like pears. They're like really dry apples to me. It's a pear. It's a pear. It's a pear. No, good. Look, there's plenty more farmland here. I'm gonna have to do something else. Uh, you guys are saying grapes. I don't know how... You know, I could... I clear off these trees. I don't need these trees here. Right? So I don't want to build up that way. I want to build down this way. You know, I could have like a luxury area down here and it'll be like cherries. Right? I want to do a cherry block. But I don't know how I'll draw it. You know what? I'll, I'll get... Maybe I'll, I'll do... I'll do the... I'll do the cherry block another time. I think that that's a good pear block. We are going to need like some houses and an engineer's post right here on the stem. Where does the granary go? Oh, well, you know what? We don't need a granary. We need a warehouse. We can have a warehouse here set to accepting wheat. Right? Set to accepting wheat. I should move the engineer's post like that to make sure it does actually cover everything. What's our unemployment? 10%. That should be able to support a few farms. Wheat. That is so... No, it's not, it's not too wasteful. It's not too wasteful. Yes! It's actually fine. It's actually fine. Look at that. <laughs> uh, do a palace pepper? I could do a palace pepper. But I think that is going to be a good start to this map. We had some problems getting past the, the thing at the start, but look at that. We've now... <laughs> we've just put random fruit shapes all over the place here. We have the apple timber industry. We have the lemon uh, pottery industry. We have the farming pear. We have the ambiguous fruit wedge housing block. And we have the bunch of bananas military industrial complex. And enemies closing, military is on the way. I think we're going to be pretty set here. You know, legionnaires. We could just keep military coming. We've got all of our exports going. Populations cross the thousand. I think this is a good start, right? I think this is a good start. It's very good. The symbol says a palace pumpkin. Ooh. There's a few more complex fruits which we can get into now that our city is stabilized. I'm thinking grapes, cherries, pineapple, pumpkin. Hmm. Wouldn't the questionable fruit be a watermelon slice? Yeah, but it could also be like a lemon wedge. Or what if it's an orange wedge? Or it's a slice of apple. Ah. It could be any of those. It is a wedge of ambiguous fruit. Distant battle. Is that two invasions on the way? Yeah, that's two invasions on the way. Um, we probably should do some defenses, right? We could be invaded from this side. So I guess we do actually want... To like wall off certain areas right we're gonna have defenses there 
we could be invaded from down here. So I would... Like, wall off here as well. And the third place we could be invaded from is up here, which is currently where all our troops are. A bit hard to wall off, but I think we could do it once we have the money, right? Uh, if I were to wall it off, I would do it from here, right? It's actually not that expensive to put a single layer of wall. <laughs> there. That is the perimeter of our city. Can we be invaded from this side? No. It's all forest. Fantastic. So if we do get invaded, we at least got some room to breathe now. And I think that's going to be a perfect spot to end part one. What do you think? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? I think it's pretty good. And that is going to be the end of part one for Lutetia and the fruit block design. Uh, it's going, it was difficult at the start, but I think it's going to be smooth sailing from now on. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to go ahead to part two. But otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.